We have so many uh, dysfunctional homes in our society today where children basically become the castaways of the home. Uh, both parents work, both parents are uh, uh, involved in trying to hold things together between husband and wife, and the children seem to um, be sort of leftovers. They're thrown out. If we want them, we've got them. If we don't, we don't. And I think today that young people are feeling the impact of uh, the dysfunctional home. Um, and it, you know, it's, it's, it's really difficult just to put your finger on it because I know that children, we say don't like discipline, but I found as a minister that I think they want a regiment of discipline in their own. And uh, I know that's what I needed. I lived on the streets of Indianapolis and uh, my mother left me when I was two. And uh, uh, my dad remarried and the woman he remarried, she uh, didn't want anything to do with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was taking her time away from my dad. And so consequently, I just uh, spent my time on the streets uh, pitched from here to there, sat on the back doorstep of a restaurant and ate something. And consequently, I ended up uh, getting in a uh, difficult situation with a shop teacher. And um, I hit him with a two before, and that was the end of my years in public school. The judge said, you got to go someplace. So my dad was given the opportunity of three places and he chose this place, although he couldn't afford it. And so um, what little he did have to pay, uh, he sold his insurance and things to get the money to pay for it because uh, dad wanted to make sure that I had a good home. And uh, you know, basically that, that, that stopped um, all of the hate and the, bitterness in my life uh, because I came here and love was unconditional and uh, love was the foundation love was fed to us every day um, and even even in, in knowing that I was going to have three meals a day I was going to have uh, the support of someone there when I just fell apart mm -hmm. and um, that's the way Star is yet today. Okay. okay. So, one word to describe Star, what would that be? Oh, I don't know that one word can do it, but of course, to me, love is the center of it all. Um, but compassionate, um, unforgiving, uh, their forgiveness, I mean, there was no end to it. And um, uh, I learned that life wasn't. Uh, a runaway life was something that had to be put together and star put it together and that's what our kids today need in the world that we live is people that can take these pieces to the puzzle and put them together and once you got it everybody will look at it and and it's just like me when I come back and I look at star I um, I never come back but what tears come to my eyes because I'm so touched by what Uncle Floyd did for us. And of course, I was fortunate that uh, he was living when I was here. And uh, we'd sit by the fireplace and he'd read to us. And uh, we learned how to plant trees and we mowed yards endlessly. Uh, I always tell people, I say, you know, the school I went to, um, it looks like a, an Ivy League school. And I said, you know, you can leave if you want. There's no gates. And uh, when you do that, there's consequences to it. But um, I found there's no reason to run away. Um, there's every reason in the world to me to run to it. And I have been in a ministry. It has helped me because I've had two or three situations where I've actually talked families into putting their children in Star Commonwealth. And yet to this day, they are so proud. Last year I was chosen as one of the uh, uh, outstanding alumni, uh, Distinguished Alumni Award. And uh, uh, one of the families actually came to hear me speak. And um, I know they came to my home and they said, you know, Stan, gosh, we just had to come.
I didn't know they were coming. It was a surprise to me, but uh, they said, you know, for what Star did for our Johnny, mm -hmm. said, um, you know, it's just tremendous and, and what it can do for anybody.